All right, for number nine, we have a triangular field ABC asserts that AB is 56. They put it there. BC is 82. They put it there. Each measured correct to the nearest meter. Important information, actually. Each measured correct to the nearest meter. And the angle B at and the angle at B is equal to 105. They put it there. Measure correct to the nearest five degrees. If the, all this information is super important, we will see why in a second. So they ask us, they ask us to calculate the maximum possible area of the field. So, since we're talking about area, um, if this if this triangle was a little bit bigger, for example, like in that way or that way, then that means that I'd have a new line over there. On all of this in gray, see, is area that I'd be like adding onto my triangle, cierto? If this was any bigger, so can I make my sides any bigger with what they told me? Well, they told me that each of these was measured correct to the nearest meter. So what is the nearest meter to 56 that is a little bit larger? 56.5. I cannot go beyond 0.5 because if I go to 56.6, for example, measure to correct to the nearest meter would be 57. See? So I need to leave it at 56.5. Vale? Um, the 82, same idea, literally, 82.5. So if it's measured correct to the nearest 5 degrees, that means that this 105, ¿cierto?, can oscillate between 110 and um, 100, ¿cierto? And so since, since that is where it can oscillate, if I have a value of, let's say, 1, sorry, uh, if my angle were, let's say, the real angle, ¿cierto?, if my real angle was 102, I'd be forced to jump to the 100, ¿cierto? If my real angle was, uh, let's say, 107, let's say, I'd be forced to jump to the 105, see? That is what they mean by correct to the nearest 5 degrees. And so the, the lower limit that I can approach in order for me to keep hitting that 105, because we need to keep it at 105 here, ¿cierto? Is going to be 102.5, see? On this other end, it's going to be, you guessed it, 107.5. See, so those are the values it can take in order to keep a meshing correctly to the nearest five degrees to reach 105. See, so th these are like the two extremes I can use. Vale? That's like the idea. And so which of these extremes give me a bigger area? Let's find out. Now, how the hell do you get the area of a triangle like this? Most of you are probably thinking of area being base times height divided by two. And you might be thinking, this okay, this could be the base, but this being the height? Nah, bro. It's slanted, man. It's slanted. It's not the height. You actually can't get the height here. So what the hell do you do? Well, when in doubt, check out the formula booklet. So, formula booklet. Let's put area of triangle. Nothing shows up. I probably have to write it differently. Here we have area of triangle. We have two equations, ¿cierto? We have the one with base times height. We already saw it doesn't work. Let's move on to the next one. Area of triangle looking like this. See? How the hell does that work? I'll talk about it in a second. So we have uh, 1 half times little a times little b times sine c. Why do I say small, little, big, etc.? Because in trigonometry, ¿cierto? I have a couple examples of this in some of my other videos. But um, the small letters ¿cierto? are going to be sides. So if here I have side A, for example, that means I have big angle paired to it. If here I have little b, I have big angle paired to it. ¿cierto? Inversely, if I have big angle C, I have little c side paired to it. See? So that is like how the little and big letters work in the world of trigonometry. When I use this equation here for the formula of a, the, 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 of area of a triangle, see, notice that these pairs, ¿cierto? The A and the B have nothing to do with the C, ¿cierto? They are, they are, they are not like a, they don't have pairs in common, see? They are all like it's an individual sort of pair. What I mean is that this 56 goes with that angle, this 82 goes with that angle. And so I can use this, this equation because none of them go to the angle that is in question or that I will use, ¿cierto? That is why it's legal, okay? So, all right, so now that that got explained, let's remember that we're using 
these big and small values. Cierto? So we're going to have two scenarios. We're going to have a scenario where we plug in, um, well, of course, the biggest sides always. Cierto? So we're going to have a equals 1 half times a cierto? times b times sine c. Cierto? Now, this sine c, we said there's two options. We got this guy and this guy. Cierto? So we actually have to compare and see which one is bigger. See? So and whichever one is bigger is the maximum possible area of the field. See? So this is my first case. And my second case see, it's going to be down here. sine 107.5 see so those are the biggest and smallest values of my angle let's see which one gives me the bigger value cierto? so we take this guy here uh, 102.5 gives me that 102 sorry 107.5 gives me that which one is bigger the one on top which is the 102 one so this one is bigger see it gives me 2275.37, see? Because it's area, we put meters squared. So the maximum possible area of the field is that right there, see? Awesome, possum. That is how you solve number nine. Number 